Protests at Perry High School in Gilbert after students wearing Trump and Make America Great Again gear are punished. The students taking part in USA Day when the school leaders reportedly told them to remove some of the Trump gear. But both sides are arguing over why and why those students were punished. Good evening, I'm Mitch Carr, along with Tram Mai. Karibe and Mark have the evening off. Team 12's William Pitts is in the Live Alert Center with our big story. William? Well, this is coming down to two different interpretations of the same thing. Who was punished during USA Day on campus and was it for liking Trump or disobeying the school? That's Jennifer Ferris recording her argument with school administrators. She said her daughter had put away all her Trump stuff during school as asked. They didn't bring it back out again until after school and then as soon as the bell rang, they went outside and they were taking pictures with their gear on. And that's when she says a school resource officer came up to them. You can leave. I'm not leaving without figuring out why she's in trouble for this. She's not in trouble. No, she wasn't in trouble. She's, she's the one that she called was. you because they took yeah. a picture of her because she wouldn't leave. And she why did they take a picture of her? Because she wouldn't leave. The news was Ferris believes it was because of the Trump gear. The district sent a statement claiming there's more than the video shows, saying students were not asked to put away Trump gear. The administration only asked that the banner be put away when the students engaged in a verbal altercation and the administration was concerned that it would escalate. And that's key, according to First Amendment attorney David Bodney. Reasonable time, place and manner restrictions are constitutionally permissible. Bodney says school administrators cannot restrict a student's freedom of speech unless it's for student safety. Then we can verify they can. If an administrator can show that certain forms of speech are likely to incite violence in the high school campus setting, uh, they'll have a little greater leeway. But he says it would probably be hard to argue that anything referencing the president of the United States on USA Day would be dangerous. So key that the district says any punishment taken was not because of the Trump shirts or banners. They won't specifically say what the students were punished for, but pointed to the sections in the student handbook about obeying school administrators and cops. We're in the Live Alert Center, William Pitts, 12 News.